So uh, right now, when the game ends and one of the player wins the game, let's wait. There's no option to restart the game on the game over menu. We'll implement that now. So let me close this and let's go over here to the data segment. And we create the string of text to display the play again option. Text game over play again. It's a defined byte. And we'll use the R key to restart the game. This will be the text with the play again message. So we can copy this code to display the text. And here, instead, we show the play again message shows the play again message and we increase the row number and let's remove this procedure call and let's change the string of text used So uh, let's test this now. And this time we'll see a message when someone wins the game to press the R key to restart to play again. So here we go, press R to play again. Now let's check now for this key. We'll use the interruption 16H and when we call this interruption with 0 on AH, then the AL register will contain the ASCII character of the key that was pressed. I will leave a link on the description for the ASCII table. So we need to compare the AL register to the character R. So let's CMP the AL register with the R. And if the key is pressed, if it was the R key, we restart the game. So let's add some condition for the lowercase r. And we can now create the label, the restart game label. And here we just activate the game again. Let's comment this. So if the key is either R uppercase or R lowercase, we restart the game. So let's test this again. And let's wait for someone to win the game so you can see the text and then press the key.
And there we go. If we press the R key, the game starts all over again and we go right back to the start.